hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl cindy for all my returning subscri subscribers you guys are darling thank you for your support thank you for your love thank you for always coming back to watch my videos i'm really 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 grateful thank you guys and please for those that haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please 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 subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up please please share this video with your family and friends and please don't forget to leave a comment and please when you subscribe turn on the notification bell so whenever i upload the video you'll be notified so guys thank you for everything you guys are the biggest family so far so guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my chin chin. Um. So guys, these are the ingredients you need for this chin chin, for your chin chin recipe, the ingredient. So guys, you need three cups of purple, all purple flour. This is it. This is my three cups of all purple flour and I have sieved it. Please guys, always sieve your flour before using it for anything to avoid having some unwanted particles in your dough so you need three tablespoons of butter this is my three tablespoons of butter you need half cup of sugar this is my half cup of sugar and you need one tin milk kick milk you can use any milk of your choice this is the one i'm using and guys you need your nutmeg This is that the on this is the ungrated one. I just put it here so you know what nutmeg is, and this is my nutmeg. Guys, you need one teaspoon, one tablespoon of so guys, you need half of this. So I grated this is half half nutmeg. So you need half of this. So guys, you need two large eggs, and this these are my two large eggs. Yeah, this is these are my two large egg, and you need half tablespoon of baking powder, and this is my half tablespoon of baking powder. And guys, you need a pinch of salt. This is my pinch of salt. So let's begin. So guys, I'm going to start by adding all my dried ingredients. I've added my sugar, and I'm going to be adding my nutmeg. You're starting with all your dry ingredients. I'm going to be adding my baking powder. What is dried again, okay? My pinch of salt. And I'm going to be combining this together, mixing everything together, making sure that they are all mixed together. This feels so good. <laughs> Mix it with your bare hands. Feels so good. <laughs> so guys i'm going to be cracking my egg in a different bowl to avoid shell don't crack direct into your mixture in case there's shell you can easily take it out but when there's um when you crack it into your mixture if there's shell you will not you won't be able to take out the shell so that's why i cracked my egg in a different bowl and um i'm going to be creating a well <laughs> where I'm going to be adding my eggs adding my guys before this way you can actually mix your butter before your 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 wet ingredient I mean the liquid one but I just like doing my own this way because this is the way that works for me. And again, um, you always I always use room temperature butter because I want it to be able to mix well in my dough. Yeah, so guys, right now I'm just gonna be adding my butter to this mixture right now. But this feels so good with it <laughs> okay. 
guys, when you when you use the right measurement for this, you're not gonna have any problem of um, too liquid, too hard, or you know, when you use the right ingredient, it's just going to come out well. I am going to be leaving all my ingredients and the measurements on the description um box. So do well to check it out before making yours. So everything will work out well for you. I don't know if you can see my dough is just turning out very well. Not too soft, not too it's just perfect already. I can feel it with my palm. <gasps> So guys, this is the consistency you'll be looking for. This is the consistency you'll be looking out for. Can you see? It's not too hard. It's not too soft. It's just, it's just perfect. So this is the consistency you'll be looking out for when you're making your chin chin dough. So guys, I'm going to be allowing this to rest for 15 minutes. I'm going to allow it to rest for 15 minutes. So I'm going to be covering it up with my plain pin. I'm going to be covering this for 15 minutes and let it rest. And after 15 minutes, we'll come back to it. So guys, this has been resting. Okay, so so I'm taking my dough out of this. So guys, I'm going to be adding the um, floor so it doesn't stick. So guys, I'm going to be rolling it out. I'm going to be using my pizza cutter and make it in a very small so it will be easier for me to roll. So guys, after that, I'm going to be cutting. You can use your knife, you can use your pizza cutter, whichever one you have at home. So guys, I'm just going to continue this process. You can see how easy it is when you put your floor on the before starting. So guys, I'm just going to continue this process until I am done cutting um, the whole dough.
so guys I'm going to be giving this another shape so you can just we're going to be frying it like this another different shape outside apart from the square so guys i'm going to be putting on my oil i'm going to be putting my oil on the fire so guys i'm going to be adding my ginger into the oil Don't worry if you're changing, if the dough is sticky, it's going to separate. So guys, our chin chin is ready. You can see the one we cut into cube. You can make this light brown. You can make it a darker brown, golden brown, whichever one you want. It's your choice. And these are the ones we, you know, the different shapes. So guys, please, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your family and friends. Leave a comment. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you, guys. I love you.